Hello everyone and welcome back to Horsehaven and we are here in Hearthstone Village, our Montana ranch, getting ready for the new challenge of the month. So last month we had an absolutely wonderful time chasing down our beautiful Virgo 2s. We have a tier 1 Virgo 2 named Amethyst right here after Amethyst Mist in our Star Stable series. And I love her. She's so beautiful, especially with the mask. And then we managed to snag this blanket from the treehouse market and it goes so well with her. So I'm very, very happy with her beautiful purple Virgo 2s but now it is time for the Libra 2 which has a mask that just takes my breath away we can buy the mask at any time but I like to save buying those specialty items until we manage to get the horse thankfully we still have another 24 days and six hours before we run out of time to get the Libra 2 and we were able to reveal the entire family tree thanks to the very healthy diamond savings that we had to invest so we need a Bavarian warm blood and a Jutland in order to get the Libra 2 and the bad news about that is I don't think we have either of those I don't think we have a Jutland I think at one point in time we did and I was like oh I'm not gonna need that guy anymore and the same with the Bavarian warm blood I'm pretty sure we just had a bunch of Bavarian warm bloods in order to breed up a certain breed of horse but now we're out of those guys again so I know we at least have the Dutch harness because we should still have April or one of her daughters I'm actually writing everything down right now on a piece of paper to try to keep it all organized so we want a dutch harness and a halflinger we're gonna have to check if we have any of these guys in order to have a bavarian warm blood good okay and then yeah i really am writing it down on a piece of paper from now on siri's gonna be super organized with her horse haven so we can get through everything a bit faster all right and then the wootenberger which i probably pronounced terribly incorrectly and the Frisian. Hopefully we still have a few Frisians left over from our tips last month. And that will make a Jutland. And so we're going to be looking for either a Bavarian Warmblood or a Jutland in our friends' ranches. And trying to breed with them. But we do have a very handsome Frisian right here. Dun dun dun! Remus, who is a male. So if we can find ourselves a female Wootenberger, which I always pronounce incorrectly, I apologize for that, then we will be able to breed with her. We don't need our ponies anymore, but little wings. How are you, wings? Well, Lydia, you're not wings. Okay, so Lydia can go ahead. We'll feed her a bunch of corn. And we'll go ahead and see if she can be raised up for diamonds, because we're so low on the diamonds now. And apologies if there's a little bit of flickering. It may be the new Android emulator I'm using. They just have this weird little flicker now and then. If it continues to be a problem, I will try to find another new Android emulator. It's like you're constantly searching for the one that won't break. All right, we're going to get a few of the grass put in because I need corn and grass in order to make some blue feed. We need lots and lots of blue feed lately because all of the horses have wanted so much blue feed. It's so interesting because it's the most common feed, like the easiest and quickest to make. But just out of the blue, all of the horses really, really want to eat a lot of it. So we'll be sure to have quite a bit. All right, let's go ahead and clear out the field. So yeah, today we'll probably be visiting quite a few of our friends in search for those horses. The Horsepedia, thankfully, is super useful, so you can go through the list and see if you happen to have any of the horses we just talked about, but I'm pretty sure we don't. Um, let's see, Ford, Fjord, all right, yep, we've got lots of Frisians, though. Look at that, four Frisians scattered throughout our ranches right now. We do not have, but we have had... The Wurtenberger, or you could actually go to the different levels. Yeah, don't have it in tier two, and we don't have it in tier three, and we sure as heck don't have it in tier four. So, oh no, and we have to hurry and get the Rocky Mountain. I really want the Rocky Mountain tier four uh, mythic level horse. That would be a very beautiful spotty butt, if you ask me. So let's go down, and then what else do we need? So we have the Frisians, huzzah! That's at least one of the four things that we might need down. And then we don't have you. So our little Wittenbergers we don't have. And then Dutch Warmblood. Yes, we do have a Dutch Warmblood. What about a Halflinger? Oh, no Jutlands. That would be too wonderful. Do we have a Bavarian Warmblood by any chance? So no Jutlands, though we've had them. And then Dutch warm blood. We don't need a Dutch warm blood. What was, yeah, we do. No, Dutch harness is who we need. See, this is why I'm glad I wrote everything down. So we don't have a tier one Dutch harness. Do we have a tier two Dutch harness? Oh no, we don't have a tier two. <gasps> Did I get rid of my Dutch harness? Ah, that's gonna make everything more complicated, you guys. I'm just triple checking. I did, okay, so everything just got even more complicated. What about a halflinger? No Jutlands, do I have, I have no halflingers. 
Okay, this is just going to be a very interesting day. I think the closest we can possibly get now is probably going and visiting our friends and looking for any of those horse breeds and trying to snag them from our friends' ranches. We may also be peeking in all of the different markets. Hello, my beautiful French ranch with the adorable little pony. <gasps> Still wearing her little hat. I love it. All right, Rosie, I need to take your hat off of you. Because you actually need to go ahead. Come on, little Rosie. I need your hat off. There we go. We're going to remove it from her head. Because Rosie's going to go find a happy new home now. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that flickering. Like I said, I'll be looking for another new, another new thing. But Rosie's off to go hopefully find a wonderful, fantastic new home. Let me go ahead and snag up all of the weeds. And everybody is convinced 100% because rocks don't grow, but poop does, is what everybody says. Uh, that that is definitely poop we're scooping up from the paddock, which I find very amusing that we have to think about that so much. Let's check the market. I very rarely spend anything in the market, but we're going to see if any of the breeds we're looking for are there. Nope. And you know, I've never really looked in the market, so I'm not sure, but I wonder if each of the different breeds in the market um, correspond with different ranches. Also, here is Alicia. She is our Virgo tier one. I am still so excited we have her. So welcome, darling. If we happen to stumble on a Virgo tier year one, then we will try breeding her so that we can see if we get any cool looking babies. So we can work our way up to the the tiers on the tier one or the year one. Oh my goodness, it's such a mouthful. The year one Virgo. So yeah, we've got a lot of breeding projects going on right now. But I think we're going to be pretty desperate right now just to find somebody that we can get the monthly constellation horses from. Also, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, visit 10 friends ranches. So that's actually very soothing. All right, let me put out my flowers. Oh, look at that Libra artifact, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. That's so cool to be able to decorate for winter. We need to get that, but I like earning it over buying it. Ah, oh, as cool as it would be to buy. And I need to buy this sweetheart trellis, but I'm so far behind on my diamonds. So I definitely need to work hard at getting my diamonds. Okay, nothing at the, the carousel that I want to buy right now. And let's zip down. Just really quickly, we're going to do our daily dose of adding in a few more flowers. Because every time we pop into Horse Haven, it's, it's just so fun, you guys, to be able to show off how if you just sort of set yourself to a task, even if it's just putting down like three to five flowers, every time we come to the French Ranch, it adds up over time. It's just, oh, I don't know why. It's just one of the most exciting parts about being at the French Ranch for me. Because it's evidence of how many amazing adventures we've had together here. And we're actually starting to fill in spots too. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, well, I'm very curious. Let's check what's going on up here. Why do I not have anybody doing? Oh, yes, there we go. Claim that reward. Let's send somebody out. Bailey, I guess I could send you out. Bailey, go out and earn me some more emeralds. So I'm getting closer. We may run out of time. We have 15 days, so I need to work really hard to get enough emeralds that we can unlock the tier four Rocky Mountain because the spotty butt horses are one of my personal favorites. So I definitely want to do that. And I don't have a single foal that I can use for that quest right now, Fooey. All right, well, let's pop into the German ranch. And after we pop into the German ranch, we'll start shifting up to our friends' ranches. Hello, everybody. So many ponies. Hopefully, you guys can help me get the horses I'm looking for. I'm still figuring out how to rearrange the German ranch, especially now that the new, the new thing I'm using zooms me in so much closer. But we'll figure it out. Yes, emeralds. I need all the emeralds. Was that one emerald? Ah, oh, just one emerald. That's okay. And actually, I have seen emeralds for sale at the treehouse, so let's hurry and clean up the paddock because I'm really big about making sure we do our chores first. And then we'll pop over and we'll see what's hiding in the treehouse. There we go. That's taken care of. What's hiding in the treehouse today? What's going on with my cherries? Come on, cherries. Some, some horde of like hungry raccoons must have come in and eaten all of my cherries. That's so odd. All right. And treehouse market. No, 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 no. <gasps> Yes, I'm totally buying that. Oh, look, and they have one of the Christmas blankets for sale. That's adorable. And then, oh my gosh, a tier five male Dutch harness. Then I would just need a halflinger. Okay, we're going to hold off on that, though, because she's way too expensive. I'm going to buy these things because I definitely have room for them. Anything that is, like, worth coins there is usually majorly worth it. But we're going to hold off. So worst to worst, for the next 24 hours, I will be able to buy this guy, a male Dutch harness. But that's ridiculous price, if you ask me. Um, what's our horse market say? There's the breeding house. 
There's the train station. I almost never look at the market, so they always startle me. A whole bunch of ponies. Yeah, I think that you do have horses that are specialty breeds to each area available then. So that's very interesting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and visit some of our friends. Let's start with Kristen, just because I often find a lot of the things we're looking for at Kristen's place, since she's a high level. <gasps> like you, tier two Rocky Mountain, beautiful. Bavarian warm blood. Bavarian warm blood. Yes, okay, so we need one of these Bavarian warm bloods. She's a mythic level though. Gosh darn it, that's gonna be hard. So we need a Jutland and a Bavarian warm blood. So we might as well give it like a good go, I guess. We'll see if there's oh my gosh, the tier four Shetland ponies are adorable. I had no idea. I really didn't. Ah, oh, okay. So Kristen, you're awesome as usual. So she has a female Bavarian warm blood, but it's tier three. Kristen, why? The tier threes are, you get a very, very low chance of actually getting when you try breeding them with your horses, but it may be better than nothing. And a halflinger. Okay, so we do need the Dutch harness in the halflinger, but this is a tier four. So I think our opportunity, I'm gonna write Kristen's name down on my new fancy piece of paper to keep track of everything. And she has a Bavarian warm blood. And then I'm going to say it's a female. This is so useful to have a piece of paper. Do you guys do that? I mean, I'd seen people who actually have entire notebooks to help them with the breeding. And I just had been lazy. But she's a tier three. <laughs> Uh, tier 3 Bavarian warm blood. That's going to be so hard to breed against. And she does have a halflinger, so I'll write that down too. But it's tier 4 legendary. I don't know if we're going to be able to even, like, we would have a better chance just cr like closing our eyes and breeding at random and getting a constellation horse than breeding up against a tier 4. <laughs> That would be so hard. Okay, and then I need to... Oh, I should probably mark down. So this is a UK ranch. This is in the German ranch. <gasps> you guys, we're going to be so organized. I'm so excited about this. All right, Arabian and Highlander Pony. All right, so technically she has two of the major horses we're looking for. Especially... <gasps> Who are you? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at all these foals. She's just keeping so many mythic foals. This is so adorable. Wow, Kristen. I love all of your mythic foals. Wow. Okay, that's really cute, actually. Can I get really close? I can. Look how close we can get to them to see their adorable shiny little butts. Oh, I love it. All right, so Kristen definitely has some pretty awesome things at her ranch. Let's see. I don't think we'd have any luck breeding with that Bavarian warm blood. There's an Irish Sport Tier 4. Breton, Canadian Tier 4. She has got some of the goods. I'll tell you what. Irish Sport. Oh, this guy, the lips. Oh my gosh. We just had him in, in Star Stable and I'm actually really tempted to get him. Um, okay, so we'll come back to Kristen in just a little bit. Let's go over. I'm pretty sure there's somebody else. Karsten? Karsten often has a whole bunch of the horses we're looking for. So let's go visit Karsten. Oh my goodness, look at all of the, the beautiful shires. They're so lovely. And these are the Irish sports. Okay, west. We've got some Icelandics. Oh, so lovely. I can't wait till we can start doing more with our clubs too. All right, let me see. Anybody? I don't think so. Trotter. But yeah, this is kind of what it comes down to when you're desperately trying to breed certain horses. So today, if we don't have any luck tracing down, that's the American warm blood. There's a cute pony. Here's another Rocky Mountain, which I really love. There's another cute pony. If we don't have any luck chasing down one of the two horses that we're looking for, then, or well, I guess we're looking for technically like six horses, then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and try with our own personal breeding experiments for the day. All of the different horses that we have that we're trying to get really cute varieties of. Halflinger, yes, okay. So there's at least another halflinger. We probably have a better chance with this halflinger. Why, you say? Because you guys, this one's only a tier three, so it's still a very low chance but it is a female halflinger so halflinger and then we need a dutch harness i only have a female dutch harness or i did i think i sold her dang it uh that we only have a we had a female so i guess we'll just have to breed her at random so this is a female tier three and she is over at the usa ranch at karsten's place um okay let's try a breeding with her and we'll try with odin and maybe we'll have some luck oh no Okay, that's good. No, I need 
<laughs> we have a 6% chance when the tiers are so far apart from one another. You only get like a 6% chance. Tier 1s of the various varieties are always a bit more useful. <laughs> Alright, well thank you so much, Karsten. At least we tried. So we've tied up that ranch, and at least we know where there may potentially be a halflinger. Now we've got all of these little ponies that I need to put out to the paddock and let them roam around so that they can hopefully get up to a high enough level to sell at T3, or to, not T3, goodness gracious, at level 3. I've got a wee bit of a fever today, so apologies if I'm just kind of rambling. Alright, Unkis! Unkis, my delightful little darling! Oh, she's just got the roundest little tummy, it's the cutest thing. Let's go ahead and feed her. Ah, so annoying. Sorry about that, guys. All right, and we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna let her go out, roam in the pasture for a little while. You too, Patty. And then finally, you too, Nova. So they'll be able to roam around and hopefully be higher level when we come back. I really like the uh, beautiful tree swing that we managed to snag from the tree house today. All right, and let's see what we've got going on up here. Clear out this paddock. And then we'll visit a couple more friends really rapidly. Hello, little Frisian. I actually do need you, my dear. I need that Frisian. Well, I have one right here, don't I? Male or female? April female Frisian. So if I can find a Wittenberger to breed her with, then there's a good chance we could end up with the Jutland. All right, so she leveled up. Good job. Wonderful. So I guess I should go ahead. I really don't need the ponies, though, or any of them. Arbin, are you close enough to, to be sold for diamonds? Because I do need to restock my diamond stores too. But it's kind of fun to be able just to wander and visit among your ranches looking for specific horses. Alright, what about you? Kara, if you weren't so close, if you weren't so close to being able to be sold for diamonds, my dear. I need to upgrade the paddock over here because that will help me level everybody up a lot faster but let's go ahead we're just gonna have to sell this little guy and we're gonna dive back into the big pile of our friends I'm kind of go, gonna go at random whoa maybe not that far down though because I'm pretty sure the ones we're looking for are slightly higher level so let's see what about Heather let's go visit Heather and just see if she happens to have any of the horses we're looking for and then that might be enough ranches today okay I see beautiful Arabians and then I see a beautiful quarter horse. Very lovely flowers, Heather. Like I'm always saying, put out flowers and a wild Siri is likely to roam by your ranch. All right, come on. And, oh, nobody here. Oh my. Heather, what has gone on? I hope everything's okay. I'm so excited to have a little notepad to keep all of this written down on too, because I have a very bad memory. So it'll be wonderful to know. Look at all of her beautiful constellation horses. It'll be wonderful to know where to go next time when I need to find specific horses to breed with for this month. So I'm very happy about that. And of course, those people could always change up who they have out at any time. All right, so no such luck there. Let's try with Katja. I think that she's had some of them before. But it's just such a relief. So thank you so much to you guys who have told me that you actually keep track of all the horse breeds in a notepad or like in a little notebook because that is what made me go today. You know what? <gasps> Wittenberger! Wittenberger! Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, there's so many! Please, I need the Wittenbergers! Yes, okay. We need the Wittenbergers. With the Frisian! With the Frisian! And that creates the Jutland and I just got rid of my... Meryl! Ah. <laughs> No! That's so funny! Oh, now I'm just gonna have to combine my Shire. Unless maybe she has a female Wittenberger. Katja! Katja, thank you! Maybe she has a female Wittenberger? Like, or a, a, a male even? Or is this a Jutland? That's a Jutland! I just need a Bavarian warm blood, and that's a tier 1 Jutland! Huzzah! That's even better than a Wittenberger. Oh, I'm so excited. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I say that name wrong. Okay. A tier one. All right. This is exciting. We're going to try. And then we'll grab Trojan. Trojan, come on, buddy. Come on. So what we really want to see is this Jutland right here. We want the yellow. Or, I guess, actually having a male Wittenberger would help us. So we want everything but the blue. <laughs> That's kind of where we're at right now. Those Shire genetics need to be quiet for just a minute, please. Oh, okay! Okay, not the worst thing that could have happened there. That actually is pretty good. 
All right, so we managed to get one of them. Oh, thank you so much, Katja. Now we have that and the Frisian, so we can try to get the Jutland. However, she also has a Jutland, so she has the Jutland tier one female. So I'm gonna write her down in my little list over here. Katja, and then, oh, I should probably put like what level everybody is at right now. I'm figuring this out slowly but surely. And so she has the delightful Jutland, Jutland female. So she's got a female tier one at the French ranch. There we go. Yay, so much information. Oh, look at the cute little beehives. They're adorable. So Katja, thank you so much. All right, well, I'm pretty pleased, you guys, because that really helps us out when it comes to hopefully seeing some progress on getting towards this month's constellation horse. So I think we already, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about it. Did we already get the Libra? I'm pretty sure from last year we already got the Libra. Yeah, we already have a Libra. He's kicking around somewhere. So we might try to get another female Libra and work our way up the tiers there. But I think we're, we're doing pretty good right now. All right, so the last thing we'll do is we will combine our Virgos. And we will see if Amethyst and her mate are able to have a beautiful baby tier two. Year two, tier two. Jupiter! Come forth, Amethyst, come forth. Pure breeding reward, wonderful. All right, so hopefully we can get the pink. That would be a nice way to end the day. I'm so excited I have a little notepad to be able to keep track of everything a little bit easier in the future. All right, so there we go, just another tier one, but that's okay, we're working our way up there. All right, everybody, well, thank you so much for joining me. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be interesting. I really like the idea of coming at everything a little bit more organized, even if people do change things up, with so many amazing friends. And remember, to friend me on Horsehaven, we both have to be playing on Android devices, and we have to be Facebook friends, and you can find me on Facebook as Siri Green, with like an E, like green, with an E on the end and then once we're Facebook friends you can send me a friend invite doo -doo -doo. Dun, dun, dun. you can send me a friend invite through Facebook on Horsehaven and that's how it works but all right thanks so much you guys we're gonna have to work hard at trying to wiggle our way to this month's constellation horse next time and I'll see you then bye bye